Welcome, welcome guys, George with Virtual Staging and this is 360 degrees virtual staging with Applied Design. This is a recent update and I'm purchasing photos right now, actually credits because it costs two credits instead of one to stage 360 photo. And for some reason, their website, I had to wait five minutes on this page. Five minutes later. And brought me to this place where I can set up my project, upload. I'm using one of the oldest projects I did. The link is above in the corner. You can see the tutorial I did. So I'm gonna upload this image and the link is below in the comments. You can download the photo and try it yourself. After a brief moment of waiting, more or less seven or eight minutes, the app spilled out the staged image, not the staged image, but the image which was ready to be staged. As you can see, I'm greeted and now that's the loading screen with all of the room bundles and furniture options and catalogs. At the first glance, everything looks okay. And yeah, and the software somehow got it right. And I'm gonna pick my selection. So I'll, probably this will be a living room. So I will go and select something. Since the last time when I reviewed this software, the guys uh, from Applied Design added more variety and options of furniture and decor, but at the same time, everything seems a bit, I don't know, everything seems the same and the same colors. White, gray, and here and there some bits and bobs of knickknacks. Um, generally, it's fine um, for people who doesn't know, actually know how to stage as for some, you know, I, I, obviously not everyone is an avid designer or home stager, that should be fine. So these presets are already predetermined and they look nice. Just if you're more advanced user or you have really specific um, project in mind or style in mind, you might find, it, you know, uh, a bit of a um, troublesome here. So for some reason, I don't know why, but this software never got it dry at the place at the point where I want to see the actual height of the room. At least that's the more important part. The height of the room is really important because some, in this case, this is a really standard space and uh, the height is 250 centimeters. But I need to know in some cases because what if we are dealing with like spaces with three meter ceilings? I don't know. It's just strange. So. At first glance, as you can see, the rug is intersecting with the wall, which is, it looks okay. Uh, and then here I'm trying to rotate the rug. It seems a bit of a slow, but then I realized this um, magnet icon above is actually locking and making the rug rotate slowly. If you press that magnet button, it will unlock and it will basically uh, rotate everything in 90 uh, degrees increments, which in a way speeds up the, the whole process. I'm loading the, the sofa and everything that comes with this uh, room bundle. Generally, I'm impressed by the way how everything snaps to the walls. This is a really cool option. Uh, for absolute newbies, this is absolutely crucial because they might not know really how to operate uh, within the 3D environment. And here, exactly this moment was super cool because the armchair, in a way, snapped itself. So the, so the front of the armchair became probably is linked to the orientation where the camera is. Where, so for example, where I am at. So and probably that's why it's in a way snapped. But the second chair I tried to uh, armchair, which I tried to load in, it didn't work. actually. The rotation in a way was broken, but I suppose this is a beta, and the guys will clear. You know, just sort out these bugs. The way how I managed to resolve the problem is I removed this armchair and I just duplicated the first one. And the job was done. After that, I had the idea to try and see if the software managed to build the spaces beyond the initial frame. And obviously, as you can see, yes, it did, which is really surprising to me. What's even more surprising that it got around even the small corners uh, around the door frames.
I did import the rug once more and tried to move it to the other room. For some reason the, the rug was like upscaled and didn't fit the room's dimensions and I know that room has more or less the same dimensions of the room which the camera is in and I had to downscale the rug and rotate it in, in order to fit. It's not a big deal but still you know that can be resolved out. Or at least, as I said at the beginning, if we know the height of the space, at least we will be able to, um, in a way, predict what sort of measurements or at least uh, the scale of the furniture that we are uploading and reusing. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, me, I'm trying to, to snap the rug to the walls and the ceiling, and it looks like the rug it has it's like its own category, and that's supposed to snap only to the floor which is cool as well so intentionally you can't really mess up something but if you if you for example really want to snap a rug to the wall as for suppose to some designs might require to have a rug on the wall it might find it might seem funny but you know in some designs it that's the case five minutes later and as soon as I was ready, I was um, I decided to proceed and render out everything and this is the final result and as you can see it yeah um, it's very convincing result um, it's crisp and given that the, this is a really high resolution image it's not the uh, absolute ultimate uh, resolution but still it's very high resolution image I think uh, it got it right the room reflections are missing and of course that's absolutely normal they will miss uh, because there's nothing I mean it's really tricky for the software even in 3ds max and sketchup to get the, the the wrap around 360 degrees unless um, you you know you have to jiggle a bit and uh, do some magic and trickery what I don't like is some of the white I mean the the image it looks all of the exposure is correct but some of the white tones are a bit overexposed and this looks a bit unnatural especially given that image is undertoned there's very all the brightness and saturation of the image itself is very muted as you can see it's almost like one massive blurred color and yeah it just this is something for some reason when i try to upload in my um post um, uh, photo editing program uh, the PNG and the JPEG which uh, the outputs from the software had different exposure and I like the the PNG which is like the tr it has a transparent layer in it so we have alpha it needed a little bit of tweaking and removing and bits and bobs that I mean the software didn't got it right at the first place but nothing really complicated that um, uh, amateur person cannot really sort out uh, by using uh, even one of the free photo editing applications out there what I think uh, it lacks obviously this cannot really be sorted out uh, with this software is the post-production part I mean there will be tweaking and additional work that needs to be done in order to do this to look for this to look really convincing and photo real but giving the pricing is I think um, this image costs $20 uh, which is two credits on their website which is you know fair point it's, it's okay it does the job um, in a way if I have to give my overall score it's as I said 7 out of 10 additionally we have to consider that there is no other software out there working right now and doing 360 degree images uh, for virtual staging which is you know absolutely cool and here you see me I'm adding manually the shadows to this um, painting because they were lacking which is you know for some reason it didn't got them right uh, but it's not a big deal actually what i think uh, it will be really cool for the developers to provide additionally to that software is the ability to export uh, the uh, render element channels at least render element or some sort of masking tool that for some of the more advanced users that they can make easily select options for example if we have let's say 10 colors that are spread throughout the entire image we can select easily the, the sofa or the floor that will be a really nice uh, benefit and bonus to the software for those a uh, little bit more advanced users that are seeking out to improve the images further but overall that should be it guys this was george with virtual staging signing out